This is the story of Isaac, a young man taking the biggest step in life. Only 15 years old, but on a mission. He is the first student going abroad from Al Cambio. This is his first time on a plane. Isaac is on his way from Uganda to America. He has been granted a full four year scholarship. It was nice in the beginning, but it was terrible when it was taking off. It was a bit shaking. I, I felt something my ears, but it's been a nice. What do you think about the higher houses, Isaac? Nice. Different from my home? On the banner, it said, Welcome Isaac, Uganda to USA. Well arrived in Los Angeles, Isaac was surprised, but to see the banner made him feel welcome. So that's Salt Creek down there, it's a famous surfing beach. After a quick family visit, it was time for the beach. Isaac's first time on a beach. He had a great time and would like to come back. We had to move on. Isaac has always dreamt of watching a live football game. Now was the time. Los Angeles FC. Isaac was excited and cheered for the home team. He wanted to get close to the fans and so we did. It was a great experience. Back home. Time for a talk with friends at El Cambio. They will always be connected. I'm not heading to the beach, please follow me. This is the final day in Los Angeles. Tomorrow he goes three hours up north to start his education. Isaac, right now, how do you feel? Are you hoping for a big wave to come or a small one? After some great days in Los Angeles, Isaac was ready to go to his new school. He was a bit nervous being the only African student at the school, but he signed in as a boarding student and felt very happy and overwhelmed. So take a look. Everyone was very helpful. Teachers and students welcomed Isaac. Slowly becoming friends, the start was good. At Dunn, it's about relationships. Our teachers teach students, they don't teach subjects. Right, it's about every single student finding their journey. Isaac went to his dorm, which will be his new home. Hi. He found his room, put up his favourite flag, had a look at the view and made his room very comfortable. A small letter was written for Isaac and made him very happy. Just after his new roommate came in, they shook hands and got to know each other. Uh, what's your name? Isaac. I'm from Uganda. Such a big change of environment, Isaac. You are doing so well. It's, it's been good to come here. Today, I went into my room, my dorm. It's really nice, really easy with an outside view. Our people have showed me around. It's nice, they are nice people to be with. Based on your experience, which kind of emotions run through these young guys and Isaac the next couple of days, you think? Overwhelming, it's really overwhelming and it's hard because everybody on campus knows exactly who he is and is so excited that he's here. So everybody's going to be reaching out to him, talking to him. There's a lot of responsibility and weight and lots of eyes on him and I hope that we can make him feel good about stepping into that role and supporting to be that leader for Uganda and your, you know, El Cambio. Welcome to Dunn School. Go Isaac!
every student is seen, heard, and known by the time they finish their journey. Isaac is not the first African here. Let's hear from Sahid. For me, it all started uh, about 10 years ago. It was a bit overwhelming. Uh, there was tons going on in my head and uh, culture, shock, like everything for me around me, it was completely different from what I'm, I was used to in Africa. It was a lot for me to take in. But again, with the community around, like with the people that I trusted, the, the faculty and my friends, that transition for me was pretty easy. Isaac, from the little interaction that I had with him, I know he's going to adapt really well. Welcome to Dunn School, Isaac. Uh, I know you're going to do great. Don't be scared to like use the resources around you. People are here to help you make the most of it. So it's the first time that El Cambio sent out a student to, um, to America, uh, going abroad from Uganda. Uh, Isaac is the first one out of 37 children, and uh, we are excited, I'm excited, I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this, exactly this day, for two years now. It's now two years since we had the first initial uh, negotiations with Dunn School. Let's hear more about Dunn School. You can drive through an amazing landscape and get to the valley in California. Here you will find Los Olivos, a peaceful and stunning place known for their vineyards. It's here Isaac has been enrolled. He has been granted a full four year scholarship. Dunn School pays all expenses. With its 150 students, it's one big family with great facilities. Isaac and Al Cambio are very grateful for this opportunity given to him. He can't wait to see more following his footsteps. Thomas, the founder of Al Cambio, has been with Isaac for the last four years. They had a quick talk. What has been the best thing about starting at Don School? Making new friends, also meeting new teachers. Have you been to the pitch yet? Yes, I've, I've practiced alone and I've also practiced with friends some days and the pitch is very nice. Some of the things that you find difficult, what could that be so far? Well, so far, it was feeling very fast. So I'm not, sometimes I'm not getting anything and sometimes I understand. In Isaac's class, students are coming from all over the world. He is studying to qualify for a college scholarship in four years from now. Isaac and I, we are now leaving his dorm. Anything you would like to say to the people back home at the academy, all your friends and family? See, I'm missing you very much. I would like to see you again. A final hug for the two of us? Yes. <laughs> see you, Isaac. See you.